Good morning, everybody. It's December the 6th, 2021, and today's a very, very special day here at Always in Stitches and all around the world because my friend Tammy Vonderschmidt was born on this day. I don't know, like, I'm not going to say how many years ago because then she might not be my best friend anymore. <laughs> but today's the video is going to be about her somewhat. Uh, we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to make some drawstring bags. This is a quick and easy little presentation that you can use to put a little gift in. And it's really easy and fun. Uh, a gift card, a diamond necklace would fit in one of these. But you can make them any size you want. I was telling Cappy about it today. Cappy, she's our manager. She says, I'd like for mine to be like grocery bag size. Well, I said, you can make them any size you want. So We're I'm going to tell guns. you about how to make these cute little bags. Come in here, uh, Peter. I want to show the uh, viewers <clears throat> all my different drawstring bags. I've got oh, them from wacky to... That's fun. Yeah. This is just one, you know, you get with jewelry or whatever. Just a little, what do you call that? Sheer, uh, see-through mesh kind mm -hmm. of a bag yeah. with a little ribbon pull drawstring. And then here's oh, just the very cool. basic, just a muslin. Now, this one's not lined, obviously. This one's not lined, obviously. And then one year, I made these for uh, all my uh, customers at all when I had my quilt shop, and I put a little uh, gift inside them. And, of course, they're not lined either. I didn't even turn the thing under. I was really making a lot of them, so I wanted to do them as fast and down and dirty as I could. So. I like I like the different weights of the materials. Yeah, too. isn't I it fun? That this is a nice like. Yeah, it's paddling. a it's a ticking. Ticking. A That's pillow nice. ticking. Uh, you know, vintage pillow ticking that I had at home. And then this is like your uptown upscale uh, version because look, it has a little topper, and then it's all lined on the inside, and then the strings are handmade. The little cording is handmade. And it's, oh, I just think this is gorgeous. And um, I might duplicate this sometime because I, I, I love this. My friend Tammy gave this to me to kind of look at and see if I couldn't reproduce it. But for today, we're going to do this one. <clears throat> now, this is plain and simple, but it is lined. It's lined. It's got a little casing in it. And I used a different color thread. If you were going to do this at home, you'd want to use the same color thread. But I wanted you to be able to see what I, I was doing there. I personally there. like that accent. Do you? Touch, well, uh -huh. if you wanted to use the green, you know, you could do, you could really uh, make it really cute uh, by using a contrasting color. And then my little cord is just some cord I had at home. But <clears throat> this is what I'm going to show you to make today. Uh, you can make them probably in under five minutes. So, you know, get busy and you can do it. You can make them any size you want as long as your lining and your outer fabric are the same size. Okay? So if you wanted a grocery bag size, you go home, you uh, measure your grocery bag, and uh, <clears throat> that's what size you'll make it. Now, here's what my size is. I want Peter to get a shot of this because I want it. If you want to get a screenshot of that, the fabric is five and a half inches wide, see wide, by 13 and a half inches long. Now, the reason they're so long is because I'm going to fold this in half. So, this is really only going to be seven and a half when it's folded and has its seam allowance gone. Okay? So, <clears throat> and then my cord. My ribbon or my cord, the little thing that you're going to put here, you need two pieces. So what I did was I cut it 36 inches and then cut it in half for two 18-inch pieces. So if they wanted to get a screenshot of that. But again, again, you can make them any size you want. Just remember that your length has to be double the size that your finished product is plus a half an inch, all right? So what I've done is I've already cut my five and a half inch strip. See, this is right uh, salvage to salvage. And then I want them to be 13 and a half inches. So what I'm going to do here 
is I'm gonna get my bags out of my way. Those are my little bags. I'm gonna put them over here. Leave my little sample here so we can refer to it. <clears throat> I'm gonna cut my salvages off. <clears throat> And then I'm gonna cut 13 and a half inches. Now I have my lining fabric and I have my uh, <clears throat> outer fabric and I'm gonna cut it 13 and a half inches. Now, the reason that I've got it layered here, like this, ooh, gotta line that up. Line it up, okay. <clears throat> Now I have enough to make two bags. And why am I making two bags exactly alike? Well, I'm gonna tell you a little story. I have been all over the internet watching stuff. How to make fun things, little things like this. Of course, I already knew how to make a drawstring bag. But uh, anyway, I've been getting inspiration. And, uh, all I've been seeing is advent calendars. Everybody, the tea company has an advent calendar. The thread company has an advent calendar. The sewing machine business has it. I mean, everybody in the world is doing advent calendars. I think the underwear people have an advent calendar. You can get a different color pair of underwear every single day of the month of December. So, counting down to Christmas, you start on December 1st, you open a box, and then September 2nd, you open a box, and you don't know what's in the box, and it's kind of fun and exciting. And so, <clears throat> I looked on one of my fun sewing websites, and the Advent uh, boxes were $200. Well, um, that's a little pricey, but it would be the thrill of it. Would I get $200 worth of thrill out of it? Probably I would, and I probably would do it. But then, the other night, I was laying in bed. Of course, I couldn't get to sleep. And I was thinking to myself, you know what? My friend Tammy would love to do an advent calendar, and I would love to do an advent calendar. So what I'm going to do? Now, don't tell her, because I haven't told her that we're doing this yet, okay? She watches this channel, Dawn. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but don't you tell her, okay? I'm going to call and tell her not to watch today. Okay. I'm gonna make 24 of these bags for her and 24 for me. I'm gonna make half of them red and half of them green. Isn't that gonna be fun? Yes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give her 24 of them and I'm gonna say, okay, now all through the year, as you're out and you're going to Goodwill or you're in the store and you see something and you think, Oh, Dawn would love that. And Dawn it's just something little. Or when I'm at the store, or I'm at the Goodwill, or I'm at the junk store. Where I mean, we love to junk together. And I see something. Just the other day I went to Goodwill and I found a little bitty chicken. It's, it would fit perfect in this bag. But I've already told her about it, so I can't really use that. But I haven't showed it to her yet, so maybe I will save it. So anyway, if it fits in this bag... And Tammy, I know Tammy would love it. I'm going to get it for her, and I'm going to put it in a bag. Now, I've gone on the internet, you know that internet, that Amazon, and I've bought some charms, some number charms. And I'm going to sew little numbers, 1 through 24. So on the first day of December next year, I'm going to have all 24 of her bags filled, and hopefully she'll have all of my 24 bags filled. And we'll swap bags, and each day we'll get together on, what do you call that when you Facebook each other and you can see each other? What do you call that, Peter? Uh-huh, uh, -huh. uh FaceTime. Skype. Is that Face? Oh, FaceTime. Skype, time. FaceTime, whatever yeah. it is. It's Facebook's answer to Skype. Okay, Skype or Facebook or whatever we're going to do. We'll decide what to do. We'll open them together and be surprised, and we'll have, at the end of December, 24 gifts from each other that are just little fun things, and all year long, we've thought about each other, and we've put it in, and it's my answer to the $200 advent calendar. What do you think? Is it a great idea? I think it's a terrific idea, because I have never heard of it before, and I just came up with it. Hey, what? hey, hey what are you doing? Are you having vodka? Yeah, we heard no, you we haven't even vodka. got to the vodka yet. I brought my cup. Vodka. Get out of here! 
We're doing vodkins today, and they thought I said vodka. See where their heads are? I mean, they are ready for the party tonight. Look at how, look at how disappointed they are. Is that you're into the party? You don't look very Christmassy, really. Well, it's cranberry. cranberry. Oh, color. cranberry color. I thought we were going with the black. See, the black well, and red. I'm, I'm mixing it up. Oh, look at those. Wait, 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 wait. I have no to look vodka. at the stockings. No vodka. Vodkins. No vodka, just vodkins. Vodkins. Oh, well then, okay. Okay, you guys can leave because we'll there's take no vodka. Oh, by the no way, vodka. we like your idea. Oh, what thank is, you. What is that on your cup? Flamingos. Flamingos. Oh, of course. But she has Santa because she's Nancy. Santa. But wait, you're sure there's no vodka? Oh, that's Not at my place. <laughs> no, you know me better than that. Let's go find some. Okay, let's okay. go find vodka. Bye. Bye. Okay, my There's hour. a liquor store across the street. <laughs> okay. Those crazy girls. They, they're they ready for the party tonight. We're having our staff Oh, God, tonight. that was funny. So, anyway. So, okay, where was I? Well, Telling that was a big Tammy. cup to put vodka in. Yeah, yeah, that was a big cup. That was vodka. a huge cup. I don't know anything about vodka. Because so I think, okay, yeah, they're gonna get sauced. Vodka goes is that in a, this is little that a cup. Word? Oh, it does. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. So anyway, don't tell Tammy we're doing this because I haven't told her yet. All right, Tammy, so, don't watch this. Yeah, don't watch this. Stop Tammy. watching. So I've got these, and I'm gonna fold them right sides together, just like this. Right sides together. I'm gonna go over to my sewing machine. This is Meet Me at the Soul Machine, you know. <laughs> Those girls are crazy. I hadn't even got to the bodkin part yet. <laughs> they spoiled my bodkin surprise. Okay. Well, maybe the viewers, maybe some of the viewers haven't heard what a bodkin is yet. Right, Hopefully right. there's one. I didn't know what one was. You don't? I did it. I did it. I did it. You do now. Until I started working here. Yeah. People would ask for them when they came in. Right. Everybody needs a bodkin in their uh, sewing stash. Squirrel. Squirrel. So, <clears throat> squirrel. What's squirrel? I love your uh, English paper piece ornament. Your 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 ornament. See that ornament in between the two ball jars? Oh, yes. This oh, is a paper. Oh, oh, yes. oh, that is. This took me You have like, all kinds of new treasures hiding <laughs> in here. This took me like 28 hours to make. Oh. I mean, I've, it was ridiculous. I saw a pattern uh, last year for that. Yeah. And this is out of me and my one. sister's uh, oh. Christmas fabric from maybe five years ago. But isn't that fun and Christmassy? Oh, my gosh. It took me so I'm so like glad you that. made that. Yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? That's gorgeous. <clears throat> okay. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it just hangs around there with all my Christmassy stuff. Okay. <clears throat> So back to the bag making, <laughs> what we're here for, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a little opening on my lining. Now, you know they're right sides together. And so I'm going to put a little pin here just to remind me not to sew between these two pins. Mm, Don't okay. sew. Don't sew between these two pins, okay? That's all I'm going to do. Now, you're going to notice I have a new little gadget on my sew machine here. It came oh. with my sew machine. Oh. And it's a seam guide. And I'm going to show you how to use that. That's handy. Now, if you don't have one with your sewing machine, uh, we can order you a magnetic one. We don't have any in stock right now, but if you'd like for us to, we can order you. And it just adheres to your faceplate, a little magnetic one. And don't worry that it's magnet. It's not going to, it's not such a strong magnet that it's going to mess up your sewing machine. So no problem there. But my machine came with this little gadget. I'm going to show you how to use it. But to start off with, I'm going to start with my quarter inch seam allowance. And I'm going to start sewing down the side, and I'm going to do a little back stitch here at the beginning. And I'm going to come down, and I'm going to stop at my uh, pin. I'm going to lift my foot up, bring my needle up, move down to my other pin, and finish sewing. Then I'm going to take my uh, outer fabric, and I'm not going to leave a space for it. It doesn't need a space. And I'm going to back stitch here at the beginning. Then I'm going to take that out of my sewing machine, cut those apart. 
didn't do a very good job of sewing my, I mean, cutting my fabric out. It doesn't look like. I'm going to turn those around and sew up the other side. Now, if I was making the 25 that I'm going to make, well, actually, I'm going to make 48, right? Because I'm going to make Tammy a set and me a set. Because you know what? If I didn't make Tammy a set for me, I would never get mine. So, because she's a busy gal. And uh, so the last project we did together is still in a bag at her house, but mine's completed. So uh, that just tells you where we're at there. And so then I'm going to take my lining piece and sew up the other side of my lining piece. Now I don't have to skip. I'm just going to sew. My fold is down here. My top is here. So I'm going to back stitch my top. Just a few little stitches. I just don't want it to come apart, and then I'm going to take that out of my sewing machine. Now, first of all, I'm going to clip my corners. Now, be careful not to clip into the uh, thread. Your stitching. Don't don't do that. Don't clip into your stitching. Just right next to it. Okay. You could even back stitch there, but let's face it, people. This is just a cute little bag. Okay. No big deal. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I could go over to the ironing board, but I'm being lazy today. So I'm going to use my uh, uh, wood wooden iron here. I'm going to open the seam up right here. I'm just going to press that open. And I'm going to do the other side. Just right up here where I'm going to put my casing. Okay doesn't have to be all the way down. I'm going to do the same thing to my lining. Now, this little uh finger iron. I just love this little piece. It's a it's a, a stiletto on one side and a little finger iron on the other side. But you know they we also have those little rollers. Have you seen those? Uh-huh. Um little seam irons. I like the roller too. You do? I I've don't have it. one. I don't have one of those. I just have always used just I call this my wooden finger because you know it just opens that seam right up and just like putting your finger in the seam. So, <clears throat> and my roller wouldn't fit in my little gadgety holder, so, you know. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just turn this inside out. And Peter, while you were gone, Lenine bought me a point turner just for our room here. I mean, our very own point turner. So I don't have to go searching for mine anymore. Well, that's nice. I know. Way to go, Lenine. I know. Thank you, Miss Lenine. So now, look, I'm just going to poke that little, look at that, how that makes that just so nice, nice and pointy. You want it to look nice. Here we go. It's windy here today. <clears throat> you know, it's winter. We're December 6th, so... We haven't seen any snow yet. Then I'm just going to kind of with my... Sounds like they're playing rugby on the roof. It does, doesn't it? Okay, I'm not going to worry about those side seams yet. Okay. Now I'm not going to turn this one inside out, okay? This one stays... Uh, this is the uh, wrong side of the fabric. This is the right side of the fabric. So I'm going to put right sides together. And the only thing I'm really concerned about, I'm not concerned about getting the corners all down in here uh, perfectly perfect because I'm going to turn it inside out. What I am concerned about is matching up these seams. And there's a reason I opened them. Well, one was to reduce the bulk. But look, see how I'm, I'm matching look, those seams up? Hold on. Let me focus. And you know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to put a pin on it. I'm going to put a pin in it. And I'm going to pin it on both sides. 
Now see, the reason I backstitched right up here is because I didn't want that coming apart, okay? You know how sometimes your stitches just wanna loosen up right at the end of the seam? And I didn't want that to happen. Now, another thing I could have done would be lower my stitch length, but backing up a few stitches is just as good. Now, you don't have to get this carried away with the pinning, but I like to pin, so. Now, I'm going to bring this top so that they match. And this would be a perfect time to use your free arm on your sewing machine. Now, all I would have to do to use my free arm is to take this plastic thing off, and my free arm would be right here. But what if your machine doesn't have a free arm? I don't have a free arm. Does that mean you can't make these bags? No, you well, just got to be a little no, bit more creative. No, it doesn't. Because all you have to do is open the bag up. Yep. And you just slide it in. Don't try to don't try to do it like this. Don't do this. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it, Ethel. I'm going to try that when I don't get Don't do it like that. <laughs> do it like this. So from the inside of the bag. And I'm just going to use my little quarter inch guide here. And you want to make sure you use a thread that either really contrasts or uh, matches. I like the one that matches because I don't want my seams to show. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run. Can they see, Peter? Yes. Okay. And I'm just going to turn this and lay it flat on my face of my sewing machine. And I'm going to get this part out of the way so you can see and so I don't sew over it. I'm going to take these two pins out. Are my fingers in the way, Peter? Or no. can they see? I got the shot. It's, okay, good. It's clear. See, you're, you're so good at that. Clear in the shot. Peter was uh, on vacation last week. That's why Cappy had to pitch hit our uh, video. We made coasters last week, uh, Peter. That sounds awesome. Yeah, we're doing fun little things that are quick and easy gifts that uh, you can do for your coworkers. You know, I tell you, or... I let me tell you something, Don. This meet me at the sewing machine. That's not that bad of an idea. Yeah, I'm glad like we thought of it. You guys are coming up with some really good stuff. Yeah. Okay. So, if you want to, you can back stitch. I'm not going to. I'm just going to cut my thread. Because you're making 40 Because I'm all the way, yeah, because I'm all the way around, okay? I'm all the way around. Now, you know that little slit that I left out? You got I'm a just hole gonna, in your bag. I got a hole in my bucket. <laughs> I'm just going to bring, <laughs> look at that. Look at how tricky that is. Isn't that fun? I don't even know what's happening right now. Well, I'm turning the bag inside out. Because who wants a bag with wrong sides, wrong sides together, right? So, look at how easy this is. It just comes right out. I left about maybe an inch and a half, two inch gap there. Now, for my size hands, is that a good enough hole for me to turn my bag oh, inside yeah, out? Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It doesn't have anything to do with your hands. Oh. It has to do with how much bulky fabric you've oh, got. You know, if I was how making... How much fabric has to fit through that? Yeah, outfit. if I was making one of them <sighs> giant bags that Cappy wants, Jeez. I'd have to be giving Jeez. me a five-inch opening. So now, I've got my corners. Look at how nice well, that a long corner turns. Isn't that funny? So now I'm gonna just pull on. I'm, no, I'm just gonna pull on that uh, seam a little bit. Got a little thread, so that that seam is kind of opening. Where's my little slit there? And I'm gonna make sure that my my seam is either one way or the other. Now, it'd be hard to open the seam there. You see what I'm saying? I just want to make sure it's either going one way or the other. And because this fabric is light and this fabric is darker, I'm going to make it go towards the darker fabric. So now my seam is laying flat in there. Now you could take this to the to the uh, ironing board and press it, and that'd be okay. But I'm not. Just to save time, I'm not going to do that. Now, 
So you got a little hole there. Now, you can hand whip that down if you want to, but look, I'm just going to bring it to, once you get it turned inside out, I'm just going to bring it over to my sew machine here. And I'm going to do about an eighth of an inch. Let me make sure I'm getting it all. About an eighth of an inch. And I've got a little marking here on the, my face plate. I'm just going to... Maybe that's a sixteenth. I just want a little bite just to close that up. Nobody's going to see it. See that? Closed it right up. So now there's no little gap for my diamond earrings to fall through. <laughs> <Yeah>. Tammy. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lining and I'm going to put it inside my bag. Now, as if it were magic, as if I was an elf and I was making these and they're magical, the lining is right side up and the bag is right side up. So that just that just blows my mind. That's some real trickery. That's some trickery. And my side seams match up. And I'm going to, with my finger, just kind of bring that seam right up to the front. And I can use my iron again, my little uh, wooden iron. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Okay. You want to finagle with it a little bit. Make sure it lays nice and flat. And there's not a lot of crinkling going on. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, this is not necessary. Not necessary at all. But I think it adds to the prettiness of it. So I'm going to do a little top stitch along this edge here. I'm just going to, again, just like I did before, when I closed up the bag, I'm going to use the marking here on my uh, face plate, and I'm just going to do about an eighteenth of an inch. Am I keeping my hands out of the way, Peter, or what? I want the uh -huh. viewers to see what we're doing yeah. here. Yeah, we're just doing a little top stitching along the top of the bag, about an eighth of an inch down from that seam. And it's just going to make it look more finished. Now, like I said, it's not a must. It's not a have to. But I think it just adds a little bit more to the bag. Cut my little excess threads off. Okay. Now see how... You just can't hardly even see it, but it really lays that... Um, it really... It well, I think it'll... Forces the uh, seam to lay down flat. Flatter. And I, and I think it'll give it a nice backbone and good support for yeah. the next step. Yeah. So, how am I going to get my string in there, Peter? I know oh you sold the whole gosh, thing shut. Dawn. I did. That's crazy, don't you think? <laughs> well, this next thing we're going to do is called a casing. It's going to case, in case. Like, a so like when they make sausage. Well, kind of, sort of. Breakfast? I guess if you oh. had sausage that ran through here. Breakfast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to determine how much of a little top I want. And this one is just about an inch down from the top to here about an inch. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my little gauge thing here right at about an inch from my needle. Okay? So here's my needle. This is about an inch. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my bag there, and this is going to be my seam guide. I'm going to put my foot down, Dawn.
Isn't that fancy schmancy, Peter? I was just thinking this would be cool to make out of vinyl. Ooh, you could do it out of vinyl, totally. You know what, you could even inset a little vinyl front. And nothing says you couldn't do this with a patchwork. You know, if you took your piece like this before you started and did a little nine patches, and you could make a piece. I gotta make 50 of, uh, 48 of these. I'm not gonna be piecing them, okay? And I gotta get them done before she's coming on Thursday. So I gotta get them done before Thursday. This week? Yeah. So I'll be home making little, making little bags. I'll just make her set, you know, my set. I'll just make my set to, to give, give to, to her. her. With a prepaid postage envelope. Prepaid. Like, Why? Flatten the card. Well, Why would oh, we she's need... not shipping it, is she? It'd be in person. No, she'll, yeah, she'll we give said it. Skype or FaceTime. Well, when we see each other before oh. December, well, we see each other in November. So in November, she'll be giving them to me, and I'll be giving her hers. And oh, then okay. we will wait till December the 1st oh, okay. before we open the first one. I gotcha. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, now there's the top part of my casing. All right, cut that little thread. That's the part. You can't hardly even see it. Well, you can there on that red. Okay, now I have to determine how thick my cord or my, um, my cord or my ribbon. Your Here's strands. a pretty ribbon. Here's a pretty ribbon. I'm not sure which ribbon. I, I think I'll use can this you ribbon. It, can you do them both together? You do could, like but multi, I'm not going to. Like a multi-deal? I'm not going to. You're not going so, to? No, I'm just going to use one. Just to save time. Two. You yeah. would. Well, you no. can do that on your own. No, I wouldn't bag. use two. Oh, you wouldn't? Okay. No, but I would. So now, good. see, my ribbon is about, oh, I'd say a quarter of an inch. Wouldn't you say that that's about a quarter of an inch? Sure. I'm going to add about... A qu another quarter of an inch. So, so I'm going to do about a half an inch we're doubling. for the casing. Okay? So I've got to move this over. I'm going to move it over about right to there. I'm going to get myself a big casing. I wonder how big that okay, is. Okay, so okay. stop for a second. Yes. So, okay, that seam guide was an inch from the needle. An inch from the needle. Now it's an inch and a half. To make up the extra, so that we have a half an inch space for between, the ribbon. Between the two. Uh-huh. Okay. Between the two. Very nice. So we're just going to do what we just did. We're going to do it again. Only now, we're going to be down a half an inch from our original top a seam line that we just put in. And as you get down in the bag, it gets a little bit harder, but you know, just take your time with it. Just take your time. It'll be nice, I promise. What happens is it gets caught. See, there's a knob right there it gets caught on. So make sure it's not obstructed in any way. Now when I make my 25 at home or my 50 at home, I will use my uh, free you'll, arm. You'll free your arm? Yeah, I'll free my arm up and I will use it because it'll just go a lot faster. But if you don't have one and you want to make these bags, don't let that stop you, you see? Gotta work with what you have. You work with what you got. And it didn't take that long and I'm back to where I started. Okay. Now. Oh no. Got my casing. Got my casing there, but now how am I going to get my string in? Well, I'm going to get my seam ripper out. Christmas is canceled. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm going to put it right here by my first seam. I'm going to insert my little, and I'm only going to get the top 
uh, fabric. I'm not getting the lining fabric. I'm only oh. undoing oh my, gosh. my top stitches. I just, I just ruined mine. What do you I mean? I just ruined mine. Because in my head, I was doing this as you were doing it. Uh -huh. and in my head, I went all the way through. I no. just threw my bag. No, don't <laughs> do not do it through oh, the man. lining. So just only the do it only. through the top. And be real careful not to <laughs> cut your casing lines. And then you just do it on both sides. Well, this is the I have some horse fabric left over from a quilt that I made. And they come out, the stitches come out really And I can easy. make them any size. Any size. I can size. make like a uh, knitting bag for my knitting project. Exactly, Peter. I'm exactly. So and you know what? Maybe, you know that decorator weight fabric? It would yes. be awesome to do that. Oh. I want in that. We have that Lori okay. Holt. We have that Lori Holt decorator fabric that would it's, look amazing. For I know Christmas. it's got sewing machines on it. It's so cute. And one I of love them's that. red and white, I think. Now yeah. you noticed I was using Christmas fabric for these because this I is did. an advent, and all I of did. our Christmas fabric right now is twenty five percent off. Did you know that? I do now. Yeah. Hello. I do now. Okay. Now, how am I going to get that ribbon in there? Look. You get vodka on it. Look, I can't hardly, I mean, I can't even get it put, to put, stick in put there. Put some vodka on it. Yeah, put some vodka on it. <laughs> this is where I get out my bodkins. This is a bodkin. Also, some people use it as an uh, elastic and tape threader. That's what it's called right there. Elastic and That's ribbon threader. And then here's a, a ballpoint bodkin. And if you're old school, Hold you on. can just Wait, use... going too fast. I'm sorry. Ballpoint. Bodkin. Yeah, ballpoint bodkin. And if you're old school, uh -huh. you can just use a I'm safety pin. I'm old school. Pan. I got one of those. Yeah, do you? Yeah. Okay. But I'm going to use my bodkin because I kind of like it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread. Well, since you're doing 48 of these, you're probably going to want to use one of these bodkins. longer ones. Yeah. yeah. And this is the hardest part of the whole thing is getting this bodkin <laughs> threaded with your with your little, I'm going to fold with your it little in. ribbon. I fold it in half. Now I know why we're doing one ribbon and not two. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And you can see, can you see there's little teeth in I there? See. Well, there's Where? little teeth. Oh, that's an angry little alligator. Yeah, little teeth inside that slit. Maybe if I would have cut my ribbon on an angle, that would have mm. been easier, don't you think? Okay, so now... When I pull that through, see, that's not going to come it's undone. It's not going anywhere. And I'm going to just put that right in there. And it's just going to be amazing. And I'm not going to come out the other end. What? I'm just going to go right through. What? Yeah. Now, don't get caught in your little seam allowance because it's turned oh, under there. So just... That's tricky. Just not too bad. Just go right through there. Come on, Dawn. I'm getting hung up by the lining uh, fold there. Oh, see? Now I got past that. I'm just going to fish that through all the way to the other side. What I'm going to do is when that comes out, I'm going to tie those two ends together. Well, that was easy. That was quick. We're Wasn't done. that easy? Sweet. Okay. Bag one done. Little tie there. But wait, there's more. Well, there's two knots. You don't. You don't want just one. You could have one, and that'd oh, be cute. But you know what? This is but handmade. But it's so much cuter. It's handmade. If you have another. Now let me look. Let Let me see if this let's works out any better. That. That polka dot ribbon. No, that's not. Okay, so now. <laughs> I can't get you to use that second ribbon. <laughs> Dawn has a good resistance. I do, I do. Okay, so now I'm going to thread this one. And it'd be silly for me to go through the same side. I'm going to go through the opposite <laughs> good side. Point. And again, i got to make sure that I maneuver through those uh, seam allowances. They charge a lot of money at the store for these bags. Not our store. I but know it. Stores that sell these bags. I know it, Peter. $20, and everybody's got leftover scraps from the Look how I just manipulated that or through that. And now I'm on the other side. 
You know, I just thought of an idea. We all have those quote blocks that just don't make the cut. Like oh, wouldn't this we just made be them, a cute yeah, thing to do with them? There might be a mistake in them, and we don't want to tear them apart because right. it's, it's just easier just to make a new one. Or maybe you auditioned fabric, and you didn't like that block, and then you made a, a separate block. Wouldn't that be a cute, wouldn't this you be could a save thing it. to do with it? Rescue that block. I know it. Okay, it. now again, I kind of have to maneuver through that seam. There it is, right there. Now the reason I knot that before I put this one in is because I don't want this one to accidentally pull out, okay? Wait, oh, the... See, I knotted that in okay. first, because I don't want that to pull out. When you pull the ribbon. Yeah, okay. so I kind of want my knot to be down here, so they're about the same. You know, Dawn, you love to do cross stitch, don't you? Yeah, I do. Would it be possible to use waste canvas on your your fabric before you sew the bag. Sure, sure. And do like a little cross stitch. You could design. do anything to this like bag. Like put somebody's name on it. You could fussy cut a panel. You could do you could take this to your embroidery machine and put somebody's <sighs> initials on oh, it. Oh I love that. Uh anything. Anything that would fit in your space. You oh. know, and again you can make them any size you want, but look at this. Voila. Little drawstring bag isn't that so cute? Now look at this. Can't you just see a whole menagerie of these? Oh. And don't you think they'd be cute on a little uh, uh, string or a, a, a clothesline with clothespins holding them yes. on? Yes. Yes, and strung like a... Strung. Or, a, yeah, oh, or on a called. wreath. Yes. Wouldn't these be cute <gasps> on oh. a wreath? Oh, I got one. I got what? one. Pick me, pick me. Pick you, okay. Okay. A mini tree, and then wrap them around the tree. Oh, cute. Oh, cute. All the way around the tree. So, if you have a bestie friend, or if you have a group of a people that want to exchange, or if you just need a cute little gift bag. I think my dog might want to open treats. Wouldn't, Wouldn't your dog want to open treats? Chloe would Come love on. this. Love. Of course... Her toys are kind of big. I'd have to make them a little bit bigger well, for little, her. You could put like a little treat in there. You could or... put a treat in there, but isn't that just adorable? Now, I might make some with the stripes going this way, some with the stripes going this way. But I tell you, just get any fabric. Any fabric will do. You can make these for birthdays. I mean, you can make them for every holiday. It, they're just a really fun, personal way of giving a gift. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned a little bit about bodkins and casings. Not vodka, girls. Not vodka. Bodkins. Bodkins. <laughs> There's no V in bodkin. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Make yourself a little gift bag. Make your friend a gift bag. Enjoy. See you next Monday here at the Sew Machine. Bye.